In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today, dear friends in Christ, we celebrate the Mass of the Ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. Christ finishing his mission here on earth, handing on the mantle of, of his responsibility to his disciples to continue the work he started. We all are called to be disciples evangelists, missionaries, witnesses, wherever we find ourselves. May we bow down briefly, calling to mind our weaknesses, the many ways we may have failed in our own mission, doing the will of God. We say we are sorry, asking him to renew us with his own spirit, through his own spirit, and in his own spirit, so that we may rediscover our mission and fulfill the mission so as to enjoy everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Lord Jesus Christ, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty and ever living God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, 
the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during the 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their side. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. is wrong to shouts of joy, a blow of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his wrong to shouts of joy, a blow of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome Is the great King over all the earth God mounts His throne to shouts of joy A blow of trumpets for the Moses rode amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid a trumpet blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God Moses rode to shouts of joy, a blast. King of all the earth is God, sing a hymns of praise. God reigns. 
reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blast of trumpets for the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory and his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at the right hand in heavens, far above every principality authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, 
and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends of God, on this wonderful day, the day of ascension, we bring you the great message of victory over sin, victory over death, the feast of the ascension of the Lord. We bring you greetings, bring you message of hope, message of consolation from the church, here, St. Gregory the Great Catholic Church here in Plantation, Florida. Today is a great feast. I call it the Feast of Human Dignity. The Ascension of Christ is the Feast of our Exaltation. The Great Feast of Joy and Hope in the Victory of Christ over death, over sin, over principalities and powers. It is a feast of exaltation of the human person. When we go back to the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 7, the book of Psalms, chapter 8, verse 5, we see the exaltation of the human person. It says, God has made the human person lower than the angels. So, on this great day, ascension of Jesus Christ into heaven, into the glory of God, He is assuring each and every one of us that He is not leaving us alone. He is going to be with us. He's going to give us the Holy Spirit. He's going to give us the direction to the place where He is. Not for Himself, but for all of us to be where He is. And He gives us great consolation by telling all of us, I'm going to be with you always to the end of the age. So, today as we celebrate the Feast of Ascension, two great messages, or two sides of the same coin, the Lord says, go to all the nations until the end of the age. Secondly, I am with you always until the end of the age. These are what I call the Great Commission and the Great Promise. That means to say, the mission of the disciples, our mission, the promise of Jesus Christ to the disciples and His promise to us, the promise of His presence, our mission, they are boundless and unlimited. Go to all the nations, preach, witness, baptize, teach them until the end of the age. I'm going to be with you until the end of the age. Dear friends in Christ, Christ our Savior and Lord ascends into heaven to be with the Father for us. Christ entering into heaven opened heaven to all humankind. Christ has taken a place in the glory with the Father. He has a place in heaven ready for all of us. And he tells us that in the Gospel of John. He says, in my Father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, 
would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you also may be. John chapter 14 from verse 2 down. Our destiny is to be where Christ, the head of the body, the church, has gone. Christ ascends today, and all of us will come later. The preface of today's Mass says it all. Christ is the beginning, the head of the church. Where he has gone, we hope to follow. So the Feast of the Ascension helps us to keep our work alive and lively, the desire to be home with the Father, where we will experience complete acceptance, complete peace and happiness without end. As we celebrate the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven, we recall his mandate to his disciples and to all of us to continue his serving mission Jesus passes on the responsibility to his disciples, including all of us. They and we are to complete the work he began. Through the commission, he communicated his authority to his disciples for their ministry. The Feast of the Ascension of the Lord is an invitation to get to work immediately to make his message, to take his message and bring it to all the nations and make all the nations experience his message. There should be no geographical or temporal restrictions anymore. And he says, go therefore, make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. And we accomplish the work of Jesus Christ, the work he gave to us to do daily by allowing the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit of God in us to walk with us, to walk with us, to walk through us and in us. Today, St. Paul prays to God that we may know the power of God and gain insight into the riches and the glory of the inheritance to which God himself has for us. We are made for eternity. This is what we celebrate today. We thank and praise God for that. Everyone has dignity. That is what the Feast of Ascension tells us. Let us make man in our own image and likeness. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. No one should put the dignity of one person higher than the other or disregard the dignity of one person, any person at all. Dear friends, the sick, the dying, even those yet to be born, they have dignity. The unborn person, even at earlier, an earliest stage in life has dignity. Every human being is an image of God. Not that we are equal to God or that anyone is God, but he has given all of us from his own dignity. When he said, let us make man or the human person in our own image and likeness. Therefore, brethren and people of God, the dignity given to each and every one of us is inviolable. Jesus, our brother, is at the right hand of God forever. He is 
in all of us. He is with us. He never leaves us alone. He goes with us. He protects us. He loves us. He is in heaven for all of us. He has a place for us with God. He has taken our dignity and made our home with God in heaven. So we all should be at home with God and God should be at home with us when we do his will and obey his commandments. Dear friends, nobody should take the dignity given to any human person away. Not even sickness, not even failure, no social degradation or decline, absolutely nothing, no interest in research, no matter how noble it may be, should take away the dignity of any human person. The dignity of every human being should be respected and protected, and that is our mission and obligation as Christians. This message, protecting the dignity, promoting the dignity of every human person, does not apply only to scientists who may be involved in scientific researches, but also to my own speech about people. I should ask myself, each of us we ask himself or herself, how do I talk about my neighbor? How do I see my neighbor? How do I talk about my wife, my children, my husband, my neighbor, my colleague at the office? Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 says, Let no evil talk, no idle talk come from your lips. Dear friends, the Feast of Ascension is a great consolation for all of us because we are exalted. Our dignity is exalted. Our homeland is in heaven not only because we're going to enjoy everlasting happiness with God, but also God has given us a noble function, a noble responsibility, a noble mission to continue his work until the end of the age. We should turn our hearts to heaven where true joy, happiness, and peace are to be found. May we, in this month of May, through the recitation of our rosaries, turn to the Virgin Mary, who is already received into and shares the glory of God to intercede for us, not to be distracted by many transitory and superficial things in this world, but to constantly live in the Spirit and constantly, consistently fix our gaze and our hearts on the love of God and doing his will to share in the relationship and everlasting glory of heaven. Amen. Dear friends, may we now rise and profess our faith in God who has given us so much, especially our dignity to protect and to promote. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things we are made, for us men and for our salvation, 
he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in our merciful God, let us present our petitions to him. For all members of the church, may the Holy Spirit embolden us to be a joyful witness to the saving power of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who govern, may Jesus, example of compassionate and just service, inspire them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the oppressed, exploited, and voiceless, especially the victims of human trafficking, May God comfort them and lead them out of their affliction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this faith community, may our shared commitment to being witnesses of Christ's love inspire us to walk together, pray for one another, and forgive one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, may they abide with Jesus Christ in heaven forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. May we now ask Mary, the mother of the church, queen of heaven, queen of apostles, and queen of all nations to intercede for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, you remain with us through your Spirit. We ask that you hear the prayers of your witnesses gathered here before you and answer them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. 
We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascends today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. you praise for the most holy for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love you found man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care so that in serving you alone the creator he might have dominion over all creatures and when through disobedience he had lost your friendship you did not abandon him to the domain of death for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants through the prophets, taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the word, Father, most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation to prisoners' freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart, joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life and that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of the great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and while they were at supper, he took bread, 
blessed and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat his bread and drink the star, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memory of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the reign of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice, which you yourself have provided for your church and granting your loving kindness to all who partake of this warm bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Archbishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in these offerings, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead, whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, you are children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your pastor, Saint Gregory the Great, and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we may glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, a mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. To God, our Heavenly Father, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we are with the blessed help and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. of God Jesus Christ who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should end under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Lord and my God. Amen. for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 
let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him with humbly prayer. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. More mighty and ever living God bless and keep us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May we go in peace to love and serve the Lord. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.